Halloween doesn't just have to be for people. But if you're getting your pet involved in the spooky season, it's important you pick out the right costume. Don't obstruct their ability to move all of their legs. They also need to be able to see. So make sure there's not something blocking their eyesight, their nose, their ears. But even if your pet's outfit seems to fit them fine, you still need to be cautious. To make sure there's nothing dragging behind them because that could get caught in a candle blaze that's inside a jack-o'-lantern and then you end up with a costume on fire. For pets that don't like playing dress up, there's less invasive ways of getting them in the spirit. A Halloween collar, a bow, a new toy. If your pet is going with you trick-or-treating, it's critical they don't get into unattended candy bowls. Chocolate off limits. The darker, the more dangerous it is. Nuts and raisins and cranberries, also bad choices. And then anything that may be sweetened with xylitol, the, the sugar substitute, completely toxic to our dogs, can cause death within 48 hours. Nighttime crowds can also be chaotic for some animals. If they're not receptive to new people or scary things, that maybe they don't go trick-or-treating, they stay home. Doorbells are gonna be ringing, Doors are going to be knocked on, and so keeping them safe in their own little room with their own little special treats can be very appropriate for them. Meanwhile, if you're worried about a spooked pet making a run for the hills... Make sure they're well identified, maybe with a microchip in case they do get away. Chris DeMeo, Fox News.